Children, today we are going to study about important topic called Fifth Branch. Please concentrate, children. Very, very important. Please concentrate, children. If you have a refraction question comes in, they'll ask you define refraction. What are the laws of refraction? Define them. Write this question. Ask them. Please be careful. The board exam is very important. If you write this question. Anything is coming, compulsory has to drop again, children. I won't accept it. You don't drop in my case. Okay. What is refraction? Refraction means bending of when it enters from one medium to another medium, one medium to another, compulsory medium has to change. Compulsory medium has to change. That bending which is occurring due to change in the media is called refraction. Then you will get an answer why it has to bend. They are also asking in more exam why refraction occurs. Why refraction occurs means children when you go from one medium to another, velocity changes. Velocity changes. When velocity changes, wavelength also changes. Due to that, it bends. Due to that, it bends. Never frequency will never change. Remember, children, how oh, many media it will change. Frequency will never change. For a centimeter, it will work. Frequency will never change. When a light is changing, moving from one medium to other, moving velocity and wavelength will change. Imagine two media changes. This is denser medium. Okay, then I will take some example like water. Rare is A. Rarer, see, this is rarer medium. This is denser medium. I'm taking the example of water. Okay, children. Compulsory has to know them. Very, very important. This is denser medium. Water. This is rarer medium. A. Rarer, rarer means less medium. That's all, children. Rarer means less medium. So, children, whenever light enters from rarer to denser, Used to work on all of the number of application RTP. Whenever light enters from rarer to denser, it moves children. Whenever light moves from rarer to denser, it moves towards the normal. Children, when light is moving from rarer to denser, it moves towards the normal. It means a little bit closer to normal. This bending is called refraction, and rarer to denser comes it moves towards the normal. And in the same way, whenever light is moving from Whenever light is moving from denser to rarer, it moves away from the normal. When light moves from denser to rarer, it moves away from the normal. Remember, observation we are able to watch. Okay. If you remember this, opposite is this. Compulsory has to remember. Rarer to denser, always light moves towards the normal. Denser to rarer, always light moves away from the normal. Okay, so you have to remember this very, very important. Now, what are the laws of refraction? Laws of refraction are so very important. What are the laws of refraction? Laws of refraction. What are the laws of refraction? That's why it's very easy, children. You all know that. Children, this is incidental, this is normal, this is refractive ray. Incident ray, normal, and refractive ray is on the same plane. You should not write short form, same exam. Incident ray, normal, and refractive. Lies on same plane. Lies on same plane is what children? Same surface. Lies on the same surface. Means the incident ray coming like this. Okay. Then sir, we will wait. Then sir, we will compulsory will go like this on children. Then sir, we will go compulsory like this. It won't come like this children. It won't go back like this. It will never happen. Okay. The incident ray is coming like this. Then sir, we will go like this. It won't come back or it won't go back like that. It will never happen. They all lie on the same surface. Second, children, are you able to listen? Hear me? Can you come to me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, children. Second one, children, second law is very important. All that famous thing, Snell's law. Second law is famous, children, very, very important. All that Snell's law. What is Snell's law? What is Snell's law? Snell's law states that ratio of sine of angle of incidence to sine of angle of refraction is constant and the constant is called refractive index of the one. Very, very important. So, you understand? Again, I'm saying children. Again, I'm saying ratio of, okay, children. This is ratio. 
ratio of sine of angle of influence to sine of angle of refraction is constant which is constant and the constant is called refractive index of medium the constant is called what you know the constant is called refractive index of medium the constant is called what you know refractive index of medium very very important what is refractive index of medium sin a by sin theta okay children refractive index is the refractive index density what we spelling density normal density is 